A dozen Democrats duel in Rhode Island special election Rhode Island Lt. Gov. Sabina Matos delivers her inaugural address in Providence on January 3. Lane Turner, Boston Globe via Getty Images Democrats will pick from a crowded field of candidates in a Rhode Island primary Tuesday that is almost certain to determine who will fill a vacant seat in Congress, then Rep. David Cicilline resigned earlier this year to take a job running Rhode Island's largest philanthropy, creating a rare high-profile opening in a tiny and largely democratic state. Time equals, 400 Ms., greater than as many as 12 Democrats are on the ballot, with several claiming support from major national groups. Two candidates are on the Republican ballot, but a Republican has not won the Providence-based 1st Congressional District in decades. Rhode Island is smaller than probably most counties in the United States, and yet they have an outsized number of elected officials, said Rich Luchette, a former advisor to Cicilline, who has not endorsed a successor. All of them are ambitious, all of them look in the mirror and see a future member of Congress. The state has a relatively large legislature in numerous small municipalities, most of which are run by Democrats, resulting in a surfeit of contenders. The front-runner had been seen as Lt. Gov. Sabina Matos, but a scandal involving forged signatures gathered on her behalf to get on the ballot may have mortally wounded her prospects. She has denied wrongdoing and blamed a rogue vendor for collecting the phony signatures, but her slow response to the controversy, the state attorney general's ongoing investigation and a lack of other major campaign developments this summer meant she suffered months of bad headlines. The other two leading candidates are seen as former state representative Aaron Regenberg, who has tried to lock down the progressive lane with endorsements from Senator Bernie Sanders, IVT, and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, and former White House official Gabe Amo, who has the backing of Ron Klain, President Joe Biden's former chief of staff, and former Representative Patrick Kennedy, DRI while the race bears some resemblance to the progressive versus establishment fights that played out in other recent congressional primaries, the battle lines are much less clear, Labor unions and national advocacy organizations have divided their support among numerous candidates, while Regenberg has mostly consolidated the left. Time equals, 400 Ms. greater than for instance, the Congressional Black Caucus is backing AMO, while the Congressional Hispanic Caucus and the women's group Emily's List, along with some major labor unions and the New Dems, are backing mottos. The surprising thing to me is that so many national groups have spent so much money on a seat that is basically going. To elect Hakeem Jeffries the next leader, Luchette said, referring to the New York congressman who succeeded Nancy Pelosi as House Democratic leader.